So one of the problems with comic book characters is that they exist kind of outside of time while at the same time reflecting uh, the time period of the people who are reading them. This is always kind of a um, delicate balance to maintain because you can't keep everybody happy. I remember reading around the time that they had decided to kill Captain America off for a while, and by this I mean in the comics, not in the movies. Um, the author was being interviewed, and they asked him why. And he's like, well, I had two different kinds of fans. I had the ones who... Let me actually let me rewind a little bit so you have the background. There's an iconic picture that you can find of a comic book cover with Captain America on the cover um, punching out Hitler because Captain America was written during World War II. It was kind of, you know, good propaganda to keep people happy in the United States. They had a hero. Anyway, so what that author pointed out was that he had two kinds of fans. He had fans who either wanted to see Captain America on the cover punching out Saddam Hussein, or he had fans who wanted to see Captain America on the cover punching out George Bush. Um, and he said both of those you know, kinds of fans had valid points. So anyway, the reason that I'm talking about this now has to do with the conversation about the Punisher, who is a character who came out in the time during Marvel Comics during the period when they were kind of R-rated, to be honest. Um, and that was during the time that Marvel kind of had figured out that it was late teens, sometimes mid-teens, and young adults who were reading comics. It wasn't little kids anymore. That's during the time period when, when Wolverine was killing people with his claws, you'd actually see blood. And it's also where a character like Frank Castle, the Punisher, had three comic book series running for him at a time. Now, during the time that I was reading Punisher, I literally lived next to a crack house. Um, I had, you know, been assaulted many times. You know, the gangs ruled the streets and gunshots were so common. If they're in the distance, you just stop reacting. It's just normal. And that's the world that I lived in when I was reading Punisher War Journal. Uh, there was a, a title that was just entitled The Punisher. At one point, they had Punisher Armory, where he's just talking about his guns, you know. Um, and Frank Castle, most of the time, was actually just killing common criminals. It was rare that he actually engaged um, with, uh, you know, super villains because he was, I mean, he was just a guy with really good special forces training. Um, in the 80s, he'd actually come from, like, Vietnam veteran stock. He was a Green Beret. Uh, that's one of the reasons why it kind of shelved the character because he's connected to a real world event so that's why he would be really old at this point but anyway so this conversation was going on on facebook called punisher the original anti-hero and what caused such a stir was this picture of somebody's tattoo um the military and the police have all kind of adopted um not only the flag concept with the thin blue line but also um the skull itself you know and i guess this tattoo is supposed to say i don't read punisher comics now this is just a proposed tattoo it's pretty clear that it's not real um but i think somebody was just sharing what they'd like to have as a tattoo but it's funny to me having been somebody who's actually a real fan of this comic book you know you see all these people walking around with this punisher skull and they don't even know what it means it would be like wearing a batman shirt and not knowing who batman was um, but anyway, uh, largely because I think of Chris Kyle, who is the Navy SEAL that some people consider to be a hero, um, you know, that this was adopted because he was wearing it, I guess, on his clothing when he was in Afghanistan and Iraq. I don't know. Um, but anyway, so here you see um, a fan obviously taking issue with that and putting a picture of Frank Castle, you know, hanging a cop over the edge of a building. And he says, but I'm a cop. And Frank says, congratulations as if to imply that Frank Castle was anti-cop. Now, Frank Castle was a vigilante. He did not operate within the, you know, the lines of the law. Um, his primary you know, difference between him and most of the other heroes that would actually bring him into conflict with people like the uh, Spider-Man and, you know, um, and Daredevil, you know, he operated in the same area. He was a Hell's Kitchen um, you know, superhero, um, was the fact that he just outright killed people. He didn't 
play around. He didn't give him over to the cops. He didn't do any of that. Uh, and here's where the the issue becomes political. In that people who support, you know, concepts like ACAB, meaning all cops are bastards and Black Lives Matter, came forward to suggest that they feel, you know, that he would support them. Now, the fair point to be made is that if you're if you're using the skull in the concept of like what it actually meant originally, meaning for Frank Castle, then I would agree it is in somewhat poor taste to use a vigilante who just openly, you know, kills police and I'm sorry, kills um criminals and kills um corrupt police officers. He did both. Um, he didn't kill as many corrupt police officers as he killed regular criminals. Most of the time, you literally see him going, you know, into crack houses and taking out all of the people who run it. You know, uh, killing organized crime bosses. You know, Frank Castle's family was murdered by, I believe it was Italian mafia, because they witnessed a murder while on a picnic in a park. And um, that's what set him off. So, at least in the original storyline, some of the movies have made it corrupt cops or things like that. But the original Punisher was originally, um, you know, he basically, he went, he snapped when he had come home from Vietnam and watched his family murdered um, by mafia. So anyway, getting back to the conversation. So it, there's a valid point to say that police shouldn't necessarily be using the Punisher skull because it implies judge, jury, and executioner to anybody who actually reads the Punisher comics. But there are a lot of people who use this symbol now who have never read a comic book in their life, and they don't know what it originally meant. So, however, one thing that I do have to say is that the the people were suggesting, you know, um, that he would be on their side. You know, so for example, so for example, you know, this meme here, you know, are these kids wearing this? And he's like, the Punisher didn't like cops. In fact, he killed several of them. And the creator hates that cops and fringe groups adopted the logo. Um, I'll actually pull up the Forbes article before I'm done with this video. Because this guy seems to want to have his cake and eat it too. It really doesn't make any sense to suggest that um, Punisher would be on the side of Black Lives Matter. And I can go into that in more detail when I go over that article. But... The notion that he killed several of them or that he didn't like them, um, he felt that the police were too hindered by the law. <laughs> that, I mean, that, that's really what it comes down to, is he felt they couldn't be efficient because they were doing things like, you know, giving people constitutional rights, meaning criminals. So what's interesting about this nonsense, you know, is that now, this guy, for example, shows his ignorance. He says, this guy is right. The Punisher is not friends with cops. He stated that even Marvel stated it. I'm sure Stan Lee would be filing lawsuits. Stan Lee had nothing to do with the Punisher. Stan Lee stopped creating uh, original characters like, I want to say, in the 60s. Um, so there's a different guy, you know, who created the Punisher. You know, but anyway, um, so, the but the notion that he was therefore on the side of criminals you know, in that conflict just doesn't make any sense because, you know, he just killed people. Like the thing, you know, if you're concerned about police brutality, if that's what motivates you as a concern when it comes to the relationship between criminals and the police, you know, the reality is this. If you addressed the way Frank Castle does things, if Black Lives Matter and Antifa existed as organizations in a universe that Frank Castle was in, they would be opposed to Frank Castle. They'd be calling him a white male with a gun out killing black and brown people. That's exactly how they would frame it. Um, and anybody who says otherwise is just not being realistic in their assessment of the story. Which is why I said to him, This is bullshit. The Punisher avoided killing cops, and only crooked cops did he ever kill. Several out of a thousands of criminals. You know, um, this guy here says, dumbass way to copyright a simple symbol that doesn't represent those blue collar donut eaters. Seriously, this simple symbol doesn't represent your blue idiots. Get educated before you get a tattoo. You know, like, okay, so what does it represent? Because <laughs> it certainly doesn't represent the people that, you know, um, you know, that are opposed to the cops because, you know, he's not on their side, you know, but. You know, and he says things like, I just believe there's two kinds of police, the stupid ones and the dirty ones. 
So if you support Frank Castle, but you don't support the police, what you're suggesting is, is it would just be better to just go to crack houses and put a gun to the head of everybody who runs them and then leave. Because that's what Frank Castle did. You know, he gets into this dick measuring contest with somebody else who looks like got removed from this group, you know, where they compare how much, how long they've been reading Punisher comics, you know, but the truth is Frank just ruthlessly went about murdering criminals. He did not hold back at all. And, you know, to suggest he doesn't have anything in common with cops, the only thing he doesn't have in common with them is that he doesn't follow the law, you know, but anyway, this guy kind of goes into you know, how every operator, like, had a symbol, you know, like, every sniper in the NUM had, you know, like, you know, for example, the, mo- the, the song, Allison Chain's song, The Rooster, is about the lead singer's father, you know, because, and he came, if you listen to, they've come to snub the rooster, that song is about, you know, a Vietnam veteran, um, so the Punisher's symbol was a skull, you know, but anyway, you know, and this guy points out, most of the people who say Frank hates cops are people who have only read a few select books, you know, who only know Frank from the Netflix shows. It kills me because, you know, anyone, you know, people, you know, continually try to bring political agendas into comic books. And the Netflix show, he debuted in the the Daredevil show. And that's actually what brought him into conflict with Daredevil is because Frank was just killing criminals, (laughs) you know, just outright killing them. And Daredevil doesn't allow that, you know, and at the end of the episode where he debuted, Frank got himself a police scanner and was literally responding to calls and, and killing more criminals. So, you know, anyway, this guy says, this topic always kills me, especially when people say that the Punisher doesn't like cops. That is incredibly incorrect. He actually partners up with a few cops, as well as FBI agents and other government agents. You know, before anyone says cops killed his family, no, they didn't. They were killed in a mob hit, as I explained earlier. You know, um, so... He says, this guy says cops are sworn to uphold the Constitution and maintain the rules of law, rule of law. Frank is literally the opposite. Uninformed police shouldn't rock a vigilante skull. I agree with that much, but Frank is not 100% the opposite as he kills criminals. He's opposed to criminals. You know, that's, you know, and he brings up this slide here. He brings up this slide here, you know, which is the Punisher, you know, saying to someone, you know, um that, you know, I don't, you don't do what I do. You know, he's like, I, you know, I just kill criminals. You know, if you want a um, role model, you should find Captain America. He'd be happy to take you. This isn't saying that cops are bad. This is saying that cops shouldn't emulate a, um, a vigilante that just kills people. So, you know, but this guy who posts this later on goes on to say that most cops are unprofessional, you know, so it's like, I guess he, you know, again, they keep fantasizing that Frank Castle would, you know, be opposed to police, you know, um, and I said, "Uh uh-oh, you called me a bootlicker, because of some earlier in the conversation he did, that lays out your stupidity in plain language. Punisher is in a war on crime. His primary targets are criminals. What side does that put him on? Well, it wouldn't be the side that set up police no-go zones where violent crime skyrockets. He avoided killing police and superheroes. He actively slaughtered criminals. What side does that put him on? Punisher would outright kill. Most of the people you were concerned may have been victims of police brutality. His side is clear, but like characters like, say, Wolverine, his methods and lack of limitations on brutality are what make him distinct. You know, by the way, he also killed arsonists and would have killed Antifa for doing things like attacking innocent people, which they did on a regular basis. I wager you would call him a bootlicker as well if he was standing over you and getting ready to finish you off. You know, like incidents like what I just showed, you know, in my last video where they were just beating the shit out of, you know, journalists and private, you know, peaceful protesters. That would get Frank Castle involved and it would not be on the side of Antifa. So anyway, I'm going to go down to another conversation, you know, but I said... It's funny to watch people squirm on this, but the reality is Punisher killed a lot of criminals and very few of them are cops. He is not your ACAB fantasy. Police would give him information covertly if a criminal got off. The funny thing about some BLM extremists is they live in a fantasy world where criminals somehow cease to exist and only cops kill people. 
And this guy says, that is a very well thought out, non-controversial point, yet someone will lose their mind if they give you on you before the end of the day. And he says, yes, BLM extremists is very uncontroversial. So this guy says, he used the, he used the word some and extremist. There are Muslims and Muslims extremists, same with Christians or any other ideology. In other words, he's pointing out, I didn't say all BLM people. So he says, what's a BLM extremist? Someone who really thinks black lives matter? And I said, you know, he goes on to say what, you know, what's Christian extremist, etc. But, you know, they're suggesting that, you know, black lives matter itself never does anything wrong. You know, and, and I said, you know, so I quoted him. I said, you know, when he said, yes, BLM extremist is very uncontroversial. I said, yes, as some BLM members want to reform the police. Some BLM members, members want to defund the police. Some BLM mem members want to abolish the police. The most extreme are the ones who want to abolish the police. The ones who want to abolish the police that I have encountered usually come in one of two categories. This is actually kind of influenced by Rob. Um, people who are utterly naive about the nature of crime in the city and criminals. Those are the two people, types of people who usually want to abolish the police. You know, and he said... How funny, you know, people who have this fantasy of BLM being a vast criminal organization are the same people that made it an organization to begin with because they couldn't respond to a simple hashtag in response to police brutality with, yes, they do. He's suggesting that, you know, that the reason that BLM does all these things is because people just didn't respond to Black Lives Matter as, yes, they do. You know, and I said, so the organizers coming out in favor of looting and, looting and burning, you know, want receipts? I can give you those. You think Frank Castle would be on their side? When a girl who was literally stabbing someone when the cop shot her, you think Frank would have let that person live? How about Jacob Blake, who was literally in the process of violating a restraining order against his rape victim when the cops were called? When they were when they arrived, he was trying to steal her car and abduct her kids. You think would have you, know, you think Frank would have let that guy live? The only thing that would have changed is he would have actually died there instead of just being shot. Meanwhile, BLM labeled both of those people martyrs instead of what they were. As I said in my post below, with BLM politics the way they are, they would be coming out to loot and burn things because a white male with a gun killed crack dealers, gangbangers, and rapists, which is what he would be doing all this time. Hate to break this to you, but Frank Castle has more in common with Kyle Rittenhouse than he does with BLM or Antifa. And I said to Rock Wolf, I'm like, yeah, I'm sure all the looting, burning, assault, and murder meant out by BLM and Antifa has done a lot for changing hearts and minds to those, you know, basically what needs to be done with criminals. This is sarcasm. It's all, you know, it's not all BLM people. It is most Antifa types, but they don't clean house. They don't call out people for doing this stuff. You know, so I want to get to one conversation in particular. This guy here named Tony Riviera. Most of the time he just posted memes. And I said, when you have no argument, all you have is memes. Thanks for admitting you were losing this debate. He says, it's not a debate. You bootlickers already lost. I'm just sitting back and enjoying the show. And I said, lost how? You utterly failed to answer my points, that Frank Castle would have shot Micaiah Bryant or Jacob Blake. All you have so far is childish memes because you know you can't formulate a real argument. And then he says, fuck off, racist. If you want, you know, if you want to come talk, you know, come to 4,016 North Austin, Chicago, Illinois, 60634. I don't argue with bigots. I fuck them up. You have my address. Now either come do something or whatever that is. And I said, so again, you have no answer. Frank Castle would have killed Makia Bryant for trying to stab another girl and would have shot Jacob Blake for harassing his rape victim who had a restraining order against him, trying to steal her car and abduct her kids. Do you have answers for that or not? And then Tony says, what the fuck does that have to do with Black Lives Matter? No, Frank would not have shot a child, even if that child were attacking someone. And yes, Frank probably would have killed Blake. You're the small mind who brought up BLM, puts up a black power fist, not me. And if Frank were a real person, he would absolutely side with BLM because guess what? Black Lives Matter. And I said, so Frank would have just let her stab another child? You sure about that? BLM would have not have sided with Frank. You know, and he goes, okay, boomer. I said, okay, look at you. Would Frank Castle have stood there and let Makia Bryant stab another girl to death? It's a simple question. And then I said, by the way, BLM still sides with Jacob Blake, 
Even though it was a black woman and black kids he was endangering. Funny how that works, huh? And he says, would you kill a child? I never said he wouldn't stop her. You said he would shoot her. Are we done? You and your pathetic life view are entertaining for a moment, but I have other racists to troll. There's another conversation I had with him where he just said, you know, because I pointed out that BLM sided with criminals that I have never done my own research, you know, and that I don't you know, know what I'm talking about. But I said, so I said, not a racist. I grew up in a neighborhood where gunshots are so normal. Nobody reacts anymore unless they are really close. My next door neighbor operated a crack house and guarded it with an AK-47 until the SWAT team came and took him down. Gangs ruled the streets and killed people over stupid shit like dissing each other and often killing innocent people while doing so. That is the environment I read about Frank Castle in. Then I bring up the real statistics. 259 black people died at the hands of police in 2019, not adjusted for justified shootings. Only on average, a thousand people die per year at the hands of police. You are literally more likely to drown in a pool, die in a house fire, or die in childbirth. Also not adjusted for justified shootings. Yet in 2019, 7,484 blacks were murdered, roughly 90% of which were killed by other black people, and most homicides happened due to gang warfare. I did my own research, and when I was reading Punisher, he was actively seeking out and killing gang members, what few, and what few corrupt cops he found. Until activism like BLM concentrates on changing the culture of the ghetto, this stupid shit will just continue. I am not racist. I am tired of the stupidity that passes for activism now that is literally making things worse. And then I linked my video about the truth about police shootings. And he goes, are you done now? Like, seriously, was that it? And I said, I just dropped more research straight facts on you. You have a reply for that? You were the one who told me I have no intelligence and can't do my own research. The video I just linked has all of my research in it. Which side do you think Frank would be concentrating on? The side that killed 259 black people in 2019, most of which was justified, or the side that murdered 7,484 black people in 2019, none of which was justified? It's a simple question. You can do math, right? And then he goes, none of that was research. Half-baked numbers. Do real research and get back to me. By the way, when you come back, you'll probably be wearing a BLM Black Power t-shirt. And I said, LOL, none of that is half-baked. All of it is real. All the links are in the description of the video. So I provided him all the links. You know, and this is actually when he, bl when he blocked me, which is why I didn't get to say anything else to him. But, you know, this person here puts up a, another meme suggesting that, you know, I must be a conservative. And I said, you think I'm a conservative, huh? I voted for Bernie Sanders. I also grew up in the ghetto where gunshots were so common you stopped reacting. I give the same description. You know, well, oh, and also where, you know, there were three rapes during school hours at my high school. So I actually know what life is like in those places and was reading Punisher War Journal when Frank, uh, Frank was literally hunting and killing crack dealers. Continue to spew nonsense. You know, so the big point that I'm getting at here, you know, um, is that People like live in this world, first of all, as I've said many times, and I'll, I'll read this last rant that I made here when I'm done, but they live in a fantasy world where apparently the only people dying in the ghetto are dying at the hands of the cops. Nobody wants to talk about the criminals in the situation. And that's, again, what set Frank aside, you know, you know apart from cops, was not because he was somehow not on their side. It's because he was free to just go ahead and murder any criminal he wanted to, and he didn't have to worry about due process, and he didn't have to worry... I mean, he literally used to refer to it as the reason why he wouldn't turn criminals in is he called it the revolving door, that basically they go into prison and they come back out and they could do it, and they just keep doing more. And I don't advocate for that. I don't think we should be killing criminals. I do think we should find ways to try to rehabilitate them. I do feel that we should do things to improve these communities, but suggesting that Frank would just show up and start, start killing cops, you know, and that the criminals in the situation bear no responsibility, is just not accurate. You know, but anyway, let me read this. If Frank existed in real life now, and I said, so being someone who was part of the Occupy movement, marched and camped, an independent journalist who reports on Antifa, BLM, Proud Boys, etc., what is really ironic is, is that if Frank Castle existed now, BLM would label him a gun-toting white male killing black and brown people. 
the people calling people bootlickers in this thread would hate him, as he would just be outright killing the people who are currently claiming they are victims of police, police brutality. Frank would also target any Antifa or BLM activist who engaged in violence, looting, and arson, which would make them no fans. I said that said, he would also likely have just killed someone like Derek Chauvin outright, and would kill any corrupt or brutal cops as well. Joe Biden, under political pressure, would likely try to send someone to apprehend him. Those are the real politics of what would have taken place. Is that, you know, BLM would hate him, Antifa would hate him, you know, and he wouldn't be any friends to them. I mean, nor would he be, you know, friendly to any right-wing extremist group either. You know, but the, the point is, is that, you know, when, as comic books basically move into the into the world that we have now, you know, people need to cling to this idea. I mean, like, I gave that guy all the research that you can imagine about the numbers. And he's just in denial. And he runs away and he blocks me. You know, other than giving me his address, threatening to, you know, have me come talk to him so that he could beat me up. You know, this is the delusional world these people live in. And the reality is the Punisher skull stands for somebody who would just be killing an awful lot of people that are currently being labeled martyrs. And don't get me wrong, the cops do kill innocent people, there's no question. And Frank Castle would certainly weigh in on that as well, likely by killing the cops in question. You know, but at the same time, you know, there's no way in hell that the current ridiculous, twisted, you know, non-expressive like of reality, you know, activism that is moving in and around <clears throat> police and crime you know, would support the Punisher. He's not your A-cab fantasy. Thanks for listening.